Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would share with you my design for my 2024 wall calendar. It is almost a new year, so a lot of people are making calendars, a lot of people are designing calendars, or probably actually most of you have already done so at this point, but I figured I'd share how my setup is. So I'm going to do one of those calendars that has the photo on the top and the calendar pages down below. And the binding style that I've gone with is a wire o, uh, punched and uh, bound in between the top and the bottom panels. So I've already got a, a setup here with uh, a subfolder with all my images for each month along with a cover photo and a Photoshop file that I'm going to use for an icon for uh, every time there's a full moon each month. So if I open up my InDesign document, uh, that you can see this is the first page but let me show you my uh, setup so this is going to finish to 11 by eight and a half inches 11 inches wide eight and a half and then I have a one inch one eighth of an inch bleed on all four sides and the total number of pages is going to be 26 because you have uh, 12 months a top and the bottom and then plus a front cover and a back cover so 26 total. If I go into my pages, uh, you can see all 26. I've already got them all set up and I'll go into more detail in a moment. But I have, essentially I have two master pages that I created, an upper and a lower. All of the odd pages are going to be the lower page and all of the um, even pages are going to be the upper page. So as you can see, this is page one down here. And this is uh, essentially uh, how the calendar is going to look before it's opened up. So as soon as you, you open it this way going up, page 2 is where it's going to hang on the wall. So your whole, whole is going to be up here and then your binding is going to be down here. So if you take a, a little closer look at the, um, the upper master page, what I've done is I've created a hole punch pattern here and a hole punch representation up here so that on each of the calendar pages I can see exactly where this is just as kind of a placeholder um, so I know exactly where the punching is going to happen. I've also edited my uh, margins so that I have a, um, a top bottom of a half inch and uh, well, actually this is the default here but um, what I've done on the uh, it doesn't really matter on the upper because this is where the photos are but on the bottom I want to make sure that I don't go into the hole punch area so what I've done is I've edited the margins um, accordingly so that the calendar pages are going to go all the way to the edge here of where the hole punch pattern is but they're not going to extend up into this the hole punch area above and then where the actual hanging hole is going to be punched below. I've also set up everything in layers. So I have my hole punch locations on a layer all by itself. I also have one for photos, for dates, for holidays, and for the moon phases uh, itself. So I'll go into a little bit more detail here. If I go into not the first page but the second page this is essentially the the uh, first month so this is going to be for January right so this is going to be my top area and on my uh, layer uh, palette you, you can see the photo has been put on the photo layer and then if I go back to my pages and go to page three this is essentially the bottom uh, page so when you have it hanging open if I zoom out a little bit so if I have this hanging on the wall this is essentially how it's going to look here's the top of the calendar hanging on the wall and then my wire is going to go from these holes to these holes and bind the two together and then my dates and my the name of the month and everything is going to be down below but if I zoom in here I go back to my layers uh, there's obviously there's no photo on this page on the calendar pages I have a layer for dates 
I have a layer for holidays, and then I have a layer for the moon phases. So if I turn these on and off, you can see each one of those individual elements disappear. So let me focus first on the uh, date layer. So what I've done is within my margins, I've created a, um, a text box that I have inserted a table. So when I go into create table, this is going to be uh, six, six row or uh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows, and then seven columns across. And essentially what that's for is the name of the month and the year. And then I have a layer here for the days of the week. And then one, two, three, four, five layers for the dates. And then I just type in the, the uh, each individual date. What I've done for kind of a style effect is the ones that are empty Instead of just leaving them empty, I've just given them the dates of, you know, one, two, three, four for the next month. Or in this case, like if I go to February, the three previous days for the month of January. And then any time where there is a holiday or on a Sunday, I've put them in red just to show that it's essentially a holiday, right? And if I go to the holiday layer, you can see on those days, um... I have a uh, the name of that uh, particular holiday or you know a, a special day. Some of them are religious holidays that are not necessarily like federal holidays or national holidays or state holidays. But uh, you can obviously edit that and put that put in whatever you want. Also on the moon phases, I've put in that icon of the moon so I know on. January 25th that's going to be a full moon and uh, I found all of this information just online or I just use the uh, built-in calendar with iOS or um, if you're using Windows obviously you can just use the calendar function in Windows and just copy all of the dates and paste them in if you look at the holiday layer if I remove or uh, hide the moon phases and the dates and I go into the holiday layer essentially what I've done is I've copied everything from the dates layer in the um, uh, the same table arrangement except that what I've done is I've taken everything and I've um, given it a, a zero a zero points um, border so that way there's not an additional set of lines if I hit my W key you can see there's no lines here at all it just has the days where the dates are and essentially on the moon phases one it's the same thing there are no uh, boxes around any of the actual days all I've done is I've removed those and then that way when I place this in I can move this icon around for each month and so if I go from month to month, I just basically copy and then I delete all of the uh, dates, I delete all of the holidays, and I delete the moon phases, and I just either start typing in the dates or I copy the moon uh, phase and place it wherever it needs to be for that particular month. And essentially that's the template that I've set up. Now you can edit this however you want if you want to put in uh, let's say a photo for somebody's birthday or if you want to put um, change this from maybe the previous month's dates to maybe like some notations or something like that simply all you have to do is highlight these and you can merge these cells together and then you can just basically put a, a line that goes across and do it that way um, there's also some uh, a few months that have the dates that go it should be basically go past uh, five uh, rows and so let me get to that I think there's one for September let's see here June 
July, August, yes, September. So let's say you have a month like this where it goes past. It needs a six uh, a sixth row and, and you don't have room for it. Essentially what I've done is I've just taken this and I just go in here and say split cell uh, horizontally. And then what it'll do is it'll add a, a horizontal line there. And then you just, now you have two cells that you can type 23 and 30 in this case. I think it's also for December does the same thing. Let's see here. Yeah, if you go in December, it's actually two times this happens because the month starts on the, uh, the first is on a Sunday. So essentially that's my, that's my template. Um, you, like I said, you can edit this however you want. My last page is just some thumbnails of the uh, months in case at the end of the year, if you want to just break off that last page and use it as a uh, uh, little poster or something, I don't know. But anyway, that's it. I thought I would just share that with everybody. Um, I know calendars are, are popular this time of year. Hopefully I'll be able to do a video on actually printing the calendar and then showing you how it's all bound and everything together. Um, like I said, I'm going to put a link down in the description to download these files so that if you want to use them yourself, you're more than welcome to. Uh, if anybody has any questions on how I have this set up, if, if I didn't explain something um, all the way, please ask away and I'd be happy to answer or do a follow-up video if anybody needs it. Um, I appreciate everybody tuning into the channel this year. Uh, I really want to get back to making videos in the print shop, but uh, 2023 was kind of a, a funky year, um, and we'll see what happens in 2024. I hope to do one more video that I kind of outline what's going to happen for me um, in the coming 12 months. And as always, I appreciate everybody tuning in, watching, subscribing, and liking the videos. And here's to a great 2024 for everyone. Thank you all, and Happy New Year.